Hi, I'm Tyson Schwartz, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Softlight Windows. Today I wanted to talk about Zen Windows and the Nirvana window. As we get into the exterior of this window, a couple of things that I wanted to quickly point out is the fact that this window is fully fusion welded, both mainframe and sash. The great thing about that is there's no mechanical parts or pieces that are going to loosen where water or air is going to get inside it. So it really provides for maximum weather protection. The next thing that you'll notice on the window is the exterior. We have an exterior bevel that features a drip cap here and it gives it a nice, clean, modern looking appearance. Uh, some of the less expensive windows that are on the market today, they have more of a boxy look. They look, when you replace them, like they just don't belong. But here the window just blends into the house perfectly. The next item that I wanted to talk about with the window is the exterior glazing bead that we have. A lot of companies uh, look at the glazing systems and some of them will use interior, some of them will use exterior. We went with an exterior bead and, and the philosophy there is the harder the wind blows against the outside of the glass, the tighter that inside seal is. So again, air and water are not going to permeate towards the inside of the house. One of the final things that I wanted to talk about with the exterior of the window is the screen. We feature a fully extruded screen and it also has, for a little added security protection, a full locking screen with the window. As we move towards the inside of the window, the first feature I wanted to point out are the dual vent latches. So when we engage these with the push of a button, we bring that bottom sash up you can vent the bottom sash. Now, some people prefer venting the top sash, so all you have to do is pull the lift rail down and you're venting the top. Disengaging these vent latches, one of the next features I wanted to talk about the window are the dual tilt latches, which are featured on both the bottom and top sash. So to tilt the window in, you engage those tilt latches, both top and bottom, and you tilt the window in and you can see how easy it would be to clean the exterior of the window from the inside of the house. When we re-engage that top sash, one of the next features of the window is this interlock, this full length interlock that we have on the window. So when we lock the window, this delta lock that we have, which is zinc cast, it's extremely strong, extremely durable, it draws that other sash in, combining that with the interlock, and it gives it an extremely airtight window. In fact, this window features a 0.07 air infiltration rate, which is well below the industry acceptable standard. One of the next features about the window is the full length lift rails that we have that are extruded right into the sash. They're not snapped on, so there's no parts or pieces that are gonna just break off from the window. Again, this makes the window extremely strong, extremely durable. And then finally, we use the CERTA constant force balance system in the window. And this is really the heartbeat of any window. So when we engage that sash and we lower and raise the window, it really is fingertip operation. As we take a closer look at the corner cut, there's a couple key features and characteristics I wanted to point out. The next feature that I wanted to talk about is the straddle gasket that you see. When the window is engaged and locked, you can see this Q-Lon weather stripping goes over the top of this upturned leg and creates what we call a straddle gasket. So, when the window is locked and air or water is trying to get into the inside of your house, because it's windy or, or what have you, it's got to go underneath the straddle gasket, over the upturned leg, underneath the upturned leg, underneath the straddle gasket, towards the inside of the window, then it hits something called our structural interlock that's featured on the lift rail that we talked about earlier. So it's got to go underneath the weather stripping there, underneath the structural interlock, over the inside dam of the window, and then towards the inside of the house. Great theory. Let's talk about realistic. That's just air and water is not going to make it towards the inside of your house. And that's why one of the reasons you're getting new replacement windows today is to make sure that the outside elements, Mother Nature, stays on the outside where she belongs. 
With this window, we use the stainless steel intercept system as standard. Now there's a couple of different types of intercept systems. One is tin plated and the other is stainless steel. We've made the decision to use stainless steel standard on all our products. The great thing about that stainless versus tin plated is it conducts a lot less heat and cold. So condensation resistance is significantly upgraded with the stainless steel intercept system. Another added benefit is the U-shaped design the intercept uses. So when the glass is glazed to the intercept with, with the different temperature fluctuations we all experience throughout the day, the glass and the seal expand and contract with the temperature fluctuations. What this means is seal failures and things like that are greatly reduced using the intercept stainless steel system. Thank you for investing some of your time today learning a little bit more about windows.